Okay, today's video is going to be about trying to replace the leaf spring in a Triumph Spitfire. And if you're going to do this, you have probably already seen the video that is on YouTube, which is really good, but omits a whole bunch of critical details. So I have from the bottom a brand new spring, a brand new spring that's all taken apart, and my old spring. The reason that I've got one all taken apart is because you have to do that. When you're in the process of disassembling the rear suspension, you have to disassemble the rear spring to get the spring carriage um, bracketry into the spring because part of the bracketry goes through the spring itself. You can see my old spring is gapped way open right here, which is where the bottom of the leaf spring shackle goes like this. So you've got to do the same thing here. So getting in a little bit closer here, one of the things you want to do, the first thing you want to do is check that the dimension of this guy right here is the same as the dimension of the recess in the top of the differential. An awful lot of people get everything all fired up and then they cannot get this thing to fit in the rear differential because it's rusted and the rear differential is rusted, the bottom of your old one is rusted, whatever, and so there's junk down in there and so you can't get in. So it's a really good idea to just try and fit this spring in there in the first case and make sure that this fits in. Once you've done that, what you got to do here is take this big old monster, fit it in here, make sure that it's down over top of that nut and in theory you put a nice little commercial rubber gasket in here that serves to cushion the stuff that's above it. I don't have one of those because my car's old and broken and falling apart and I didn't realize I needed one. So I cut out a piece of bike tube. I hope that works. But the idea is that goes in then this guy has to go in and this is the pivot that the bolt goes through and the bolt goes in this hole right here and that is how the anti-roll capabilities of the car are enabled is everything rolls around this pivot and bolt you got to have that in by the way when you're trying to remove these leaf spring brackets right here these are under a significant amount of tension so if you put a c-clamp on it and just crank it down a little tiny bit then these drip bolts will just drop right out. So you end up doing that here, and you end up doing that here to get the entire leaf spring free into its component parts. So when you're putting the whole works together, this is probably what you want to look for. This guy with this guy located right over top of it, so that when you put the bracket here down, everything will be in line, and that gives you a better chance of getting this, uh, this bolt through this guy, through this hole. C-clamps, if you twist them so the bodies are against the leaf itself, as you turn them, the C-clamp will be less likely to twist and move around. And this way, I can turn both of them at the same time and crank the whole thing down simultaneously. So, this is what it looks like with the center pivot bolt in place. And I've got clamps on both ends so that I can get all of these through and hopefully now it just goes back in like the guy on the uh, video says it does.